Aspergillus is a common fungus or mold that commonly lives both indoors and outdoors. It is difficult to completely prevent its spores, which sometimes find their way to human lungs. Everyday people breathe in the spores in large numbers, but they do not get sick. Inhaling these spores can create mild to severe illness in some which is known as aspergillosis. When these spores affect a person's lungs, it is called pulmonary aspergillosis or PA, which can develop in several ways. Allergic PA is when the immune system responds to aspergillus spores. Despite the, there being no aspergillus infection, that results in allergic reaction. Chronic pulmonary aspergillosis is when the aspergillus infection settles in the lungs, sometimes for several months. This may create cavities within the lungs as well as aspergilloma, which are balls of aspergillus fungus. Invasive aspergillosis is a serious infection that has the capacity to spread beyond the lungs. All forms of PA cause a cough or and shortness of breath. Different types of PA can manifest differently. Allergic PA may produce wheezing, fever, headache, stuffy, uh, stuffiness, runny nose, inability to smell, etc. Symptoms of chronic PA may also exhibit coughing blood, weight loss, and fatigue. Invasive PA can represent can present additional symptoms like coughing up of blood, chest pain, and fever. If invasive PA spreads to other parts of the body, it can cause non-pulmonary neurological symptoms as it reaches the brain. Inhaling aspergillus spores will not necessarily cause PA. When these spores do cause PA, the pathway is different for each PA subtype. Allergic PA develops when the body mistakenly responds to aspergillus spores as though they have created an infection. Chronic PA is when lungs damage from pre-existing diseases that allow aspergillus to colonize in the lungs. These diseases include chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, tuberculosis, and asthma. Invasive PA is a condition that develops due to immune system being unable to fight an aspergillus infection. For this reason, invasive pulmonary aspergillosis is the most common trusted source of immunocompromised people. It is worth noting that some people may have both a chronic and invasive PA. Pulmonary aspergillosis can cause a variety of possible complications that include lung fibrosis, respiratory failures, central nervous system, that is CNS infection, endocarditis, that is an infection of the heart inner lining. Some of these complications such as respiratory failures CNS infection and endocarditis can be fatal. Treatment. After doctors have made a PA diagnosis, they start treatment. Treatment varies with pulmonary aspergillosis subtype, allergic PA. The first line of treatment is for allergic pulmonary aspergillosis involved, prescribing oral steroids such as prednisol, prednisone or prednisolone. Doctors can taper this medication over three to five months, depending on the patient's response. Some experts also include some antifungal medications. For chronic PA, treatment may vary. Stable or simple cases of aspergillosis may not require treatment. Others may need antifungal medications surgery or both. If surgery is not an option, doctors may recommend embolization 
to treat hemotysis, which is when a person coughs up blood from the lungs. Embolization involves blocking of one or more blood vessels, which is a minimally invasive treatment. For invasive PA, doctors may recommend antifungal therapy with voriconazole or isavuconazole for they may add another type of antifungal medication which is echinocantine. If the case of invasive pulmonary aspergillosis is severe or the person has certain blood issues such as cancer uh, forming in the bloodstreams or neutrophenia. Neutrophenia is when someone has a low number of specific white blood cells that is neutrophils in the blood. This fungus grows in damp places. The best method to escape aspergillosis is to keep away uh, from those areas in your home, especially your uh, sitting, dining, bedroom, etc. when they are damp or don't make them damp. Keep your window sills and frames damp free and treat them with antifungal agents. Rubbing with dilute, diluted vinegar is the cheapest and the best treatment to get rid of this fungus. The smell of vinegar will leave in the room for some time but will go after that. Thank you very much. I am Edwin Williams.